So very strict on the rules and regulations here, and quite rightly so by the organisers, TIAC, here this afternoon. Right, then we're into the finals now, and this is the uh, Formula A B final, and uh, we've got a good Formula A entry here today, which uh, has allowed us to run a B final, and it's not every day you find Will Gollop in a B final, but Will at the moment coming through from the back of the grid. He only managed to get one qualifying heat in through the course of the afternoon. He also excluded on what, one of these timed runs, and he had problems with the wastegate on one of the turbos earlier on, so he's only done one run, and he's into the... Uh, B final, he wins this, he'll go on to the back of the A final. There we see Will then coming through into the lead with the Cliff Humphreys powered by Turbo 6R4. Away he comes past the infamous Mab's back. Mick Quaife drops back to second place at the moment. Dennis Biggerstaff also there in third spot in a B final, which uh, we would normally have expected. We've been seeing him a front runner in all of the A finals this year, but having to content with the B final at the moment as Will Gollop comes away. Still Mick Quaife in second spot. Mick driving a good race here. Dennis Biggerstaff coming in to have a little look. Can't do it, uh, tries a little bit too hard and then has to ease off and loses his momentum down the Dover slope which leads into the Devil's Elbow and the Devil's Elbow as you can see brings him up this power absorbing hill and John Cross at the back of your picture there with the white car, the new uh, turbo four wheel drive Fiesta as Dennis Biggerstaff goes into third place and uh, goes into second place I should say, just manages to hold on but Mick Quay fighting back, Mick trying to get on the inside, can't do it still Dennis Biggerstaff, Mick tucks in behind him as they come down into Paddock Bend, meanwhile Will Gollop getting well clear of the opposition keeping away from the cars, not going to get involved in anything, although, of course, remember, all he has to do is win this one. Time is of no importance. As long as he wins, he's into the A final, and then he's got to race against the clock, because then he's got to try and get quick enough time to take him into the super final. So Will, I would think, driving a watchful race here, watching the mirror, not uh, putting too much stress on the engine, not getting too hot, because it's a warm day here at Little Hill, and that Viterbo Metro could be in two more races here this afternoon, as yet he wins this one. Dennis Biggerstaff, probably a little bit unfortunate uh, to find Will in this particular race. I think that's a remark that we made earlier this year about Peter Harold at Brands Hatch. And there is Peter coming up the tail end of the order with the um, VW Beetle Turbo. But there, once again, we go back with our race leader, the uh, Silkaline car of uh, Will Gollop goes down, spurts a flame from the bi-turbo exhaust as it comes into round Chesson's Drift. And Will Gollop, the local man, sells Saabs for a living down just a few miles from the circuit at Canterbury. You can see what a stranglehold he's got on this race now as Dennis Biggestaff comes through from Tamara in Northern Ireland in second place. Mick Quaife still in third. John Cross uh, still developing this four-wheel drive Fiesta, still running without power steering and uh, having to work hard, I would think, inside the car there as Will comes round the North Bend hairpin. Wouldn't want to put too much uh, force onto the car through the corners here and... Uh, get himself an unnecessary puncture, uh, which of course could uh, allow one of these boys to come through. And John Cross having a look now, the governor of Auto Cross versus the, one of the boss men from Quaife Transmissions, and it is John Cross with the upper hand as Mick Quaife locks a brick up there as he went down into and through Paddock Bend. So uh, Will Gollop is up around Chesson's Drift. Will Gollop coming away then and looking a safe bet for the back row of the A final of the Formula A supercar category. He goes on his way. Dennis Biggerstaff is going to have to contend himself with second spot, and I don't think that's going to get Dennis into the top five of the championship. It looks as though Will is going to be well in the top five. The checkered flag you can see being waved as they go down the Dover slope on the left of your picture, and the man who took it first was Will Gollop. 